I'm that interstellar extraterrestrial that hails from the outer limits beyond the confines of time and space. You about to take a step into the twilight zone when I enter through your ozone. I made first contact with the schizophrenic who suffers from bipolar times three. Me and my cosmic clan got a plan C to gather all resources from this planet. I got this kid backing me up wearing a traffic cone on his head with a magic stick. It don't matter if you think I'm weird cause I got green skin like a lizard. My boy's a wizard and that's facts. So best get back if you're coming to attack. Cause I got the master plan in hand and everybody knows that this ain't no motherfucking oddity. This is space odyssey. Uh, so everybody follow me through this odyssey as we unlock the secrets of the universe. Everybody follow me through this odyssey as we unlock the secrets of the universe. Uh, yo, uh, uh, yeah. Can we change the channel? Every year it's the same boring old movie. Henry, you're starting to sound like a commie. Why don't you and Neil go in there and have some cookies? I... Uh, I guess... I got some cookies from Halloween sitting in the fridge. I can make them and then you can just pretend that NRX a guy with the ghost dog came and left them for you. What are you talking about? Gosh darn it, Henry, that movie you liked the night prior to Christmas or something like that. I don't remember the name. Hey, uh, um, ho, 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 it's me, Santa Claus. Do you kids got a dollar for old Reuben? Santa isn't real, Reuben. Seriously? He follows me around all year long and tells me to drink to keep the Christmas spirit alive. If I don't, the Viet Cong will come back after me. It's pretty cold out here. Why aren't you in the shoulder? Oh, I, I got kicked out. Hell yeah! Henry, Neil, you do know it's Christmas vacation, right? I've told you, Henry, magic is within the realm of possibility, with a little bit of creativity and scientific knowledge. It's not that. I have a problem, Professor, and I don't think anyone will listen. Christmas is boring. All anyone does is decorate trees, play in snow, get and give presents. It's just not fun anymore. Henry, at one point in our lives, we all get tired of the same old ordinary routine. And for a while, once we try something new, it is wonderful. Take the invention of condoms, for example. When they were first created, everything was wonderful. But after a while, it would seem that as though people have forgotten about their existence. Take it from me. I'm a scientist. What's a condom, Professor? That is a lesson for another day. But in order to summarize, just enjoy the little things, Henry. Now, I have work to do. Those damn kids better be staying off my lawn. Ron, stop yelling at that poor retarded boy and help me with my girdle. Santa? You're real? I've held many titles, young one. That is just one of them. On my first voyage to your planet, I was worshipped as a god. When my ship malfunctioned the second time, it didn't go over as well. My antenna were depicted as horns, and my wings that were once beloved became a symbol of the wicked. My new name was Satan. In order to regain the love of the bipedal apes, every 25th of this month I would fly around and deliver presents of anthracite. Once again they rejoiced, and my name changed to Santa. As time went on, the bipedal apes became more materialistic and greedy. So I retreated into the hills and made my home there. But once in a while I still appear in order to let the humans know that I love them and care very much for them. Yes, I have gone by many names, but there can be only one, Mothman. Mothman. <laughs>